An art exhibition in Beirut is showcasing the work of more than 10 Lebanese artists who have reimagined the sphere. The circle has been around longer than recorded history. It's the sun, the moon, and the wheel. It was also once believed to be connected to the divine. Its shape itself expresses the eternal. So how many different ways can a sphere be reinterpreted? Lebanese artists decided to find out through an exhibition in Beirut. I lived in New York and when I got to Lebanon, I moved back recently and uh, they introduced me to this project and I thought it was a great initiative to get to know the different artists that are in Lebanon and the, the spectrum of creativity that everyone has to redesign a different, the same wall. The results range from spheres made of folds and spheres with claws and neon. A design studio called Bokja put on the exhibition with the help of luxury brand Aishti. The idea was to make something for the Lebanese designers, and because Boksha are really good, we told them in this place there is an art foundation, there is a museum as well as everything related to fashion. So we needed the Lebanese touch, the Lebanese designers. The initiative attracted the attention of young international Lebanese designers, allowing them to network with local talent. When Tony Salame offered us the chance to do this collaboration, we found that we would really like to include as many Lebanese designers as we could, because we love a lot of the work of the local talent. We said, let's give them one project that they all could work on, and we thought that the sphere would be a really good idea. The exhibit called Safira by the Sea will be on display for a limited period, but the organizers hope for some long-term effects. They want the space to be put to use again for creative projects. The current show indicates the sky's limit. <laughs>